Hello guys, in this video, we will discuss about the problem related to the Boolean algebra. Here the problem is obtain the sigma representation of the following Boolean algebra expression f of xyz equal to y plus xz dash. Here these are the options. Now our problem is to find the sigma representation of the given Boolean function. The given Boolean function is in the form of SOP because here there are two products, those two products are to be added. Okay, now the sigma representation means we want to find the min term numbers for the given Boolean function f of x, y, z. Here, this problem can be solved by using two methods. The first method is just by inserting the missing variables in each and every product and then find the equivalent min term numbers. That is first method. The second method is using k maps. This is the very easy method using k maps. Now let us do both methods. The first method is let us take the given Boolean function x, y, z equal to here it is y plus x, z dash. This is the given Boolean function. Now let us take separately two products. Okay, the first product is y. In this product, the missing variables are x and z. The missing variables are x and z. Now we have to insert these missing variables along with y without changing the meaning of the y, without changing the value or meaning of the y. Right? Now here it should be written as y into, it should be multiplied with x plus x dash because x plus x dash is 1 its value is 1 according to the boolean algebra and also it should be multiplied with z plus z dash okay z plus z dash value also 1 so that y equal to y into x plus x dash into z plus z dash okay now we should multiply these two sums now it becomes as y as it is now we should multiply these two this becomes as xz plus xz dash plus x dash z plus x dash z dash. Later, we should multiply with y. This becomes as xyz plus xyz dash plus x dash yz plus x dash yz dash. Okay. Now take the second product term that is x z dash. Here the missing variable is only y. Now we want to insert the missing variable along with the x z dash without changing the value. Then it becomes as x into in the place of y you should write the y plus y dash because y plus y dash value is 1 according to the Boolean algebra then you should write the z dash as it is. Now we should multiply x into first we should multiply these two terms okay then it becomes as x y plus x y dash now it is multiplying with the z dash now we should multiply this whole sum term with this z dash then it becomes as x y z dash plus x y dash z dash. This is the second expression. Now we should substitute equation one and equation two in the given Boolean expression. Okay, this is expression A. Now substitute these two expressions in the given above Boolean function. Then the given Boolean function f of x, y, z becomes as in the place of y, you should substitute the equation one, then x, y, z plus x, y, z dash plus x dash y, z plus x dash y, z dash plus in the place of x, z dash, we will substitute the equation 2 that is x y z dash plus x y dash z dash. Now we should assign the binary values for each and every product in the Boolean function. Here x y z means x is in the normal form so that its value is 1, y also 1, z also 1. Okay, next it is x 1, this is 1 complement form means its value is binary 0. Here it is 0, this is 1, this is 1. Here it is 0, this is 1, this is 0. 
now it is 1 1 0 here it is 1 0 0 okay now here three bits for every uh, product in the boolean function three bits so that to write the equivalent of min term number we have to consider the three binary weights those are four to one okay so depending on these binary weights we should write the equivalent min term number so its equivalent min term number is one 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 means seven okay four plus two plus one seven so that the min term number it should be represented with a small m letter with a subscript value min term number plus here it is x y z dash complement form means zero so that one one zero means six this is m six plus here it is zero one one it means three m three here it is zero one zero means two m two the min term number here it is m six again one one zero plus here it is m four okay so here m six two times repeated so that only you can take only one time so that one m six will cancel right so here it is the remaining min term numbers are two three four six seven you should write in ascending order it should be written as sigma the summation of min terms means the summation operator is sigma min terms of you should write the numbers in ascending order now it is two three four six and seven this is our answer okay with the now let us move to the second method using k maps here how many variable k map is required three variable k map because the total input variables should be three okay the number of input variables are three those are x y and z with the three input variables we have totally eight min terms okay so that the three variable k map is required so here x is the msp so that x you should take left side the remaining two variables towards right side now for x we have to assign the two values 0 1 for yz we have to assign the 0 0 0 1 1 1 and 1 0 okay now we should rewrite the given boolean expression f of x y z equal to y plus x z dash okay now we want to insert the number of ones in the corresponding min term boxes of each product. Now let us take the first product. Here y only is there, right? So y, y means x and z are missing. The missing means what is the meaning? X should be available in the form of x bar plus x and z should be available in the form of z bar plus z. Okay, that means the binary values are 0 and 1. Here also 0 and 1. Okay, that means here whenever you are going to insert the ones in the place of the y corresponding min term boxes, okay, first search for in which columns y is common, okay, in these two columns y is common because for y the binary value is one normal form, okay, now you have to make sure that z should be available in the form of 0 and 1 or 1 and 0. Okay, so that here is yes, for z its value is 1, here for z its value is 0. So it is satisfied. Now again search for the x value. Now x means here uh, it should be available from, uh, in the form of 0 in the first row. It should be available in the form of 1 in the second row. So that you have to make sure that both rows you have to select. Okay, so the corresponding min term boxes you have to go, you have to select is the coincidence of these rows and columns. Now, this is the one, and this is one, this is one, and this is one. Okay, in these four min term boxes, you have to insert the values one. Okay, now let us move to the second product. What is the second product? XZ dash. XZ dash means the missing variable is here is a y that should that should be y dash plus y y is missing means y dash plus y it should be in the form of so the binary values are 0 and 1 so that whenever you are searching for x z dash you have to make sure that the y value should be 0 and 1 now let us see the values of x and z dash then we will check the values of y as 1 or 1 and 0 or not okay now let us search for x x means we have to select the second row next about z first we search for z dash z dash means it is available in the first column and the last column because z value is 0 here this is also 0 
okay when we are searching for z dash we have to make sure that y should be available in the form of 0 1 or 1 0 okay in any order so that here it is y is 0 this is 1 okay so that these two columns has to select now we have to insert the ones in which mint term boxes we have to insert the coincidence of x line with these two columns right so here it is the first column with the second row that means here and for last column with the coincidence of a second row already here we have already one is there right so that no need to insert one more one okay that's it so that we have completely inserted the ones in the corresponding boxes of the each products uh, of the given boolean function now we should write the answer so that answer should be f of x y z is equal to we should only write the minimum box numbers that's it okay first we should identify the what are the minimum box numbers this is zero because zero 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 is zero 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 one means one this is a three zero one one this is two four five six seven this is seven this is six now we should write the minimum box numbers so whenever we are writing the minimum numbers we are we have to use the summation operator that is sigma m of summation of sop form sigma m of in which mean term box uh, numbers we have ones two three two three four six and seven this is our answer using the k maps now let us check whether the method one answer and method two answers are correct or not yes here we have two three four six seven this is also two three four six seven so the option is two three four six seven the option b is correct okay 